Flint neighborhood groups say they want action on crime and other problems in the city, and tonight they're going to get it. A town hall meeting will focus on public safety. NBC 25's Ilse Lujan Hayes joins us live in Flint this morning with the story. Good morning, Ilse. Good morning, Joel. Well, you know, we're here on Flint's north side, and right next to me is Joe King. He's president of Flint Neighborhoods United. He will be at tonight's meeting. Joe, we are here um, in a vacant lot, and this is this grass is really tall. You're, a lot of residents are saying this is their main concern. Yes, it's a, this is a big concern. The grass are tall, the weeds are getting high. People are dumping in these vacant lots. Right. I mean, here we are trying to walk across, and I can imagine if I lived in this neighborhood, we're on Mount, uh, Mount Elliott Avenue, and I mean, some of these weeds are as tall as we are. Yes, and it's, it's getting worse, and we just can't have the resources of uh, getting the cut, the weeds cut, and the, the neighbors are doing the best they can. Right. We, uh, we're trying, but we can't keep up with it without some resources from, sure. from the city. Or now, the county. one of the questions, in fact, I talked to, um, there's a resident that I spoke to that lives on this street. Her name's Karma. She said, you know, Elsie, we try to cut it as much as we can, but is, it is an expense. In fact, she's going to bring up this question at tonight's meeting. She's going to ask, and it's a full screen that we have for folks, on whether people who are cutting the lawn, um, the grass, you know, on their own, can be compensated. Those are the kinds of questions people are going to come tonight with. Uh, yes, when I have a lot, my own neighbors, I have several have went out and bought lawn mower, riding lawn mower, just to try to keep up the lots cut. But the suspense, the gas, the wear and tear on the equipment, and it's, it's something that. They are doing to trying to help out and, and try to keep the area safe and uh, they're trying to do the best they can. Yes, sure. and, and okay. it is it's going to be quite it's going to be quite hard to keep keep up with it. Yeah. Okay, Joe King, thank you so much, President of Flint Neighborhoods United. You're going to be at tonight's meeting, and if you're at home listening and you want to know, hey. Could I be compensated for actually cleaning up some of these vacant lots? Go to tonight's meeting, bring your questions, and there's going to be elected officials and law enforcement hopefully to answer your questions. So we're live in Flint, Ilse Lujan Hayes, NBC 25.